winner take all. A concept usually reserved for the postseason. A pressure-packed environment normally withheld for games that decide a series and ultimately a season. The sweat and sacrifice extracted from the deepest reservoirs of commitment from October through April for 81 previous outings has somehow not been enough. Hindsight is of no help now. A bounce or a basket that perhaps could have added just a single win more are of no avail heading into tonight. What we are left with is exactly what the sport teaches us to believe. Every game counts. Rarely does the final game of the regular season carry with it so much meaning, so much drama. With a gritty and gutty performance last night in Detroit, Miami has afforded itself the most simple and favorable proposition. Win, and they secure home court and the third seed in the first round of the upcoming Eastern Conference playoffs. Lose, and a host of dizzying possibilities are open that could see Miami stay in third or slip to six. The obstacle standing between the Heat and home court is a well-noted nemesis. And while Boston may not be what they were at the height of this rivalry, the path that for Miami separates uncertainty from security will be paved on the parquet floor at the TD Garden against the Celtics team with just as much at stake. Miami knows well what it feels like to face long odds in Boston and still come away winners. A similarly inspiring effort will be required to come away victorious tonight. Each one may account the same, but suddenly, none of this year's matchups mean more than this one. One game, one mission. Win and come home. Ding, 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 a heavyweight battle in Boston. D-Wade and the Heat looking to clinch the three seed with a win. And they came out smoking. D-Wade says two is better than three because it's high percentage. Got him with the little pump fake. Got the Linux off his, off his ground. And then cookies with the to the basket. 20-point <laughs> Miami lead. Brad Stevens says, ay, 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 24-point <laughs> game at halftime. And that's when Boston brought out the legends. Russell, Havlicek, Walton. I see Mikhail back <laughs> Jojo there. Jojo White. I see Ooh. Tommy Heinsohn back there. And it inspired the Seas. They went on a 20-0 run. Completely different halves for both teams. Miami aggressive in the first half, but they couldn't score. And Boston got going and was aggressive defensively. And it spurred the crowd on. Look at Bill Walton having fun. <laughs> Miami misses some easy shots, and now Isaiah Thomas, the all-star for the Celtics, he gets going, brings the seas right back into the game. It's my house. <laughs> Bring it. Miami, by the way, scored a franchise low five points in the third quarter, and maybe that's why Gordon Dragic shoved Marcus Smart out of bounds. Uh, the teams came together. Smart didn't like it, and the Heat said, go sit down. Technicals issued to Marcus Mark, Goran Dragic, Evan Turner, and Udonis Haslam. No punches thrown. Cooler heads prevailed, and we move on with Evan Turner. Yes, Evan Turner staying in attack mode, not selling for jump shots. Attacking Miami's defense all the way to the paint. And then Turner hit him again. 16 points, six-point lead for Boston. Knockout punch from Isaiah, who had 21. Boston outscores Miami 60-26.